Hey man, we got a lot to get into. We got badge plug. So we got Jinxie and Queso, two of the biggest streamers in the world, okay? Currently came from 2K. They're gonna expose this 2K24 gameplay, but I wanna quickly show y'all who these people are. Look, he's live right now. Look, 60,000 live viewers in 45 minutes. 2.7 million followers. You don't think if he liked this game play he would play it every now and then and that would tremendously help 2k it's not just your lot the live viewers going to be coming to the game it's all everything spread across every platform millions influence this is why influencers matter but y'all try and say you're just a little percent of the player base but imagine if he liked the game the state the game could be in you feel me jinxie he comes from 2K also, okay? They're gonna speak about, look, 95K live viewers three hours into the stream. You don't think if he liked 2K, the gameplay? This is why the gameplay is so key. You feel me? He would come and play? They, they, I'm not even counting the other platforms. 4.5 million followers, they blew up. This is why the gameplay is key. This Sim Nation? <laughs> The guys with the influence, they not liking the game. Uh, look, let's, let's, you feel me? Cause the gameplay so trash. I'm not, I'm not even going, I'm not even going to count A and P. Okay. Exposing 2K24. We're gonna respond to a TikToker saying, "Is is everyone just living in nostalgia? If these games came out in 2K24, everyone would hate them." 2K got a new event. We're going to talk about the lawsuit, all that. And, you know, there's a lot of double twisting. There's a lot of people on their knees, mouth wide open. Okay? A lot of people trying to max out their glue hands badge. Okay? So we're going to address that. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest K in existence. Now, before we get into everything, y'all make sure y'all hit that goddamn like button. Let's try and get 300 likes. It's free. It helps Young Swan grow. Now badge. Now let's let's see what these guys have to say, man. I'm I'm not a consumer of their content, so I don't know really nothing about them, to be honest. But let let's see what they. In my opinion, the death of like Madden, not Madden Damn. will never die, obviously, no, but the yeah. death of 2K Damn. was when they started making it more realistic. Like mm -hmm. when you look back at Prime 2K, it was so arcadey, like yeah. the animations, the shots, the jumpers, the exactly. dribbling. 2K15, 2K16, 2K17, the mm. first 2K where they started. This is a guy with 95K, right? Live right now. I don't think y'all understand how insane that is. You don't think you want to cater the game somewhat to someone like what he would think, what he would enjoy the most? You don't think that would help your game, the player base? and the hypeness around your game? Do y'all know when streamers stop playing game, the game just dies? Creators just, they, it just, it falls on its face. But people act like these people are just some minority. I know a lot of y'all hate creators, but look, look, even though a lot of y'all hate these creators, bro, you would still enjoy the game that they would enjoy also, you know? I'm just saying, bro, way more than what they're producing now. They're getting more realistic, like defense is gonna be easier, like yeah. 2K18, 2K19, and then it was just kind of like- It went downhill ever 2K19 since. 2K19 was the last good 2K. It, it was. Maybe 20, but I think 20 gets mm -hmm. overhyped because of like quarantine. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. COVID yeah. really oh, held uh, 2K19 a lot, yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, 2K really, I mean, I don't think 2K is ever gonna recover. No, hey. no. There's no way they can at this They'd point. They'd have to like clean up shop and just yep. like, fire is. everybody. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. And the, you hear this? Don't think it's ever gonna recover. And it's as simple as reverting to gameplay that was hella long ago that you could easily replicate with this new technology. Because all the gameplay now, all it's done is devolved. Genuinely, it really has devolved and it could be proved scientifically by Big Swan. You know? Animation's clunky. There's load ups within everything, all to limit a skilled user to make it more casual friendly. But in a game that's super delayed, you cannot have these load ups and with everything you do in the game. It's horrible. You feel me? Look, hey, 
I be I be trying to tell y'all, dog. And they won't, because I gave it. You know, I was, ho I was I was hoping I could ride it out and be a two K content creator. Yeah. You know that I mean? was my original goal too. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah. I, I seen. It, I was like, yeah, it ain't gonna get better. Look, I'm telling you, if a lot of creators that be double twisting this game, if they could play something else, they would. Every single time. That means your gameplay is not too nice, to be honest, because they can make way better content on two K. To be honest. Because you get to directly interact with people and hear them in game chat. You can make all sorts of stuff. But, hey. What do I know, man? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. I like this arc out of you, man. I'm really glad that 2K is not f man. So Badge says 2K said our VC is fiction. And basically aren't real. They are a Genjutsu. But oddly enough, it shows up on my bank statement. Seems pretty real to me. If it isn't real, then make VC free. How about that? You know, this isn't a lawsuit. Your VC is not your property, <laughs> even though you're buying it. VC is fiction created by game publishers that we purchase year after year. <laughs> <laughs> now, firstly, of course, we know 2K is just trying to cover up lawsuits because they're getting sued and all this and that. They're trying to stop getting sued and stop trying to get finessed. Okay, that's part of it. And just because something is normalized, I see a lot of people on their knees, all right? You know, defending a billion dollar company because they want to get wined and dined. Just because in the real world, if you're paying rent on something, you know, the the place isn't yours, they can just come in at any time, doesn't make it right. Just because certain things are normalized in life doesn't make it right. Stand up for yourself, people. Talk, speak. You can't just lay down and just take it. This goes with anything in life. Have some pride. This is why things get as bad as they do, because you just sit there and accept reality. Reality is what you make it. People saying badge misleading people and all this and that, bro. And first of all, 2K be doing a lot of shady stuff. Like season two, they didn't give me my uh floor setter. I'm, I'm emailing them, they're they're thinking I'm trying to scam them. And I can't, they be deleting builds, right? So think, think, think. How many, every year, builds get deleted. These hoes is 150 plus, okay? Not 800 plus, right? If they think you're trying to scam them or all this and that, they not gonna give it to you. It's corny. You can show proof of this and that. This company, I think is the leader in microtransactions. They're gonna keep pushing the envelope farther and farther. You have to make a stand, okay? A lot of y'all, under everything 2K tweets, you you getting active, right? This is not a YouTuber influencing y'all to do this. Y'all feel how y'all feel, and you have been for years. So this double twisting, it's just insane. People need to have some pride and stop bootlicking. How many years have you not got a logo? What, and if you have got a logo, what has that done for you? What is the next maker's... What is it really done for you? You feel me? When you defend 2K, all it does is lower their player base, in turn, hurting you. You think by double twisting, it's gonna get you in a certain position, and then more people are gonna mess with you. Why would more people mess with you? They don't even like the game. They're leaving the game. The, the game's just filled with older players that are new 2K players that didn't play golden era 2Ks at least online. Look at Badge. It's actually crazy how so many creators are not talking about what's going on right now. I didn't know what he was, I was like, Badge, what you talking about, right? Then Badge says, not trying to over-exaggerate, but my opinion for creators is, do you really want to be on the wrong side of gaming history? People remember you said nothing. Mm. Mm. 2K's doing a lot of stuff, man. You know, fight back. And something else that's going wrong with the message is a lot of these people say the game plays fine when it's horrible, right? But they say the gameplay is fine because everyone who's watching 2K, somewhat, they have a higher likelihood of liking the gameplay. If you're saying you don't like it, it turns off a big portion of the 2K audience from you. So a lot of these people, they're roasting the game, right? Telling the truth about the game, but then they say the gameplay is good. When the gameplay is half-baked, and we're in a beta. Like I could really go down and show you how this is one of the most broken, easy, casual, friendly, cheesiest, even though they say it's realistic, broken games, okay? Like I could break it down to a science. So 
I've been saying this for a long time, okay? I've been telling people, hey, all NBA Live has to do is just make a game and just completely replicate 2K14 or 15 or 16 or 17 or 2K19 and they will destroy 2K. It wouldn't even be close just based off the gameplay. I'm literally, I promise you, if any company comes and they mimic that game, they are destroying 2K. Like it wouldn't even be close. How hard is it to replicate a game that was 10 some years ago or eight? Bro, it's not that hard, bro. And you could just alter it just like a lot of these games are doing, right? They will destroy it, but they don't think. They don't know. They they really don't know because they're not real. They're not in deep in the community. They don't know, right? How everyone's tired of 2K. They want to play a different basketball game, right? They want to play a cheaper game. They think 2K got the market because the NBA, no one cares about no damn NBA players. Bro, you can have just random hoopers. You got that gameplay on lock, that park atmosphere. It's done. It's done. Bro, revolution. Bro, I, on Moses, I swear to you, bro, <laughs> it's over. Especially if you, bro, the PC, you know, PC might be iffy because, you know, a lot of us are console gamers. But if they get that hole on console, I'm telling you, bro, it's done. It's done. Because this, these newer gameplays, trash. Ugh. You, compared. Compared, it is horrible, okay? Now look, look what Bad says. Here's your reminder that yes, 2K has the license to use the NBA players, which is a big driver keeping out competition, okay? Because it's so expensive. But that doesn't mean that someone can't come in and create a game with park, rec, whatever, with created players and builds. Game Freak, the creators of Pokemon have been making garbage for years and Power came out out of nowhere with an insanely smaller budget and showed them that they can not only compete with them, but make something even better, okay? And this is facts. All you gotta do is listen, like, to the outcries of a community, man. People are, they're really trying to pander to this casual audience, and they're losing a lot of players and creators. If you really make something that that OG 2K fan wanted, or OG OG gamer fan wanted, you will see that it's not no damn nostalgia. I I promise you, you will see, and it gets proven so many times. People always try to use these these cliches that they use, and it's just. <laughs> I make a joke about this. Tap in to learn VC chargeback and glitch methods since NBA 2K24. VC is a genjutsu. Our money is also a genjutsu. Tap in. Learn the ways. Every year, get yours. You feel me? Do everything. Now, we are going to respond to a TikToker called Vibe with Will, okay? Talking about this nostalgia thing and all that, man. And the reason I'm responding to this because we are calling out all BS going forward with these creators, man. YouTuber, TikToker, Twitter, Twitcher. It, it, it doesn't matter <laughs> because this thought process is why we have to keep playing these trash video games because they use these weak cliches that can easily be disproved live. You feel me? It can, it, it, you can show someone that it's not nostalgia, right? You could prove it live. You can even go on PC and play the game and see what people are talking about. That means it's not nostalgia, right? So let, let, let's see what he has to say. I have an insanely controversial theory or something. This is not controversial. This is a very popular take that gets a lot of support because the only people who currently watch 2K somewhat like it and they're newer 2K players. So they're gonna defend their era, you know? And you always get support when um you speak about 2K like this. And he knows this is why he's posting this. Something that you guys would call a hot take. In my opinion, if NBA 2K16 or 17 came out today, the prime 2Ks, the greatest 2Ks of all time, everybody would hate that. Nowadays, the 2K community. First off, this is not true. And then it is true at the same time, okay? But the thing is, there's levels of hate. 
why are we acting like there aren't levels of a spectrum of hate there's always hate for all video games right there's always people who have problems with this problems with that that's fine let's not blanket the statements and use weak cliches giving the company an easy bailout if 16 came out today it's not no oh it was good for its time if 16 came out today it would be way less complained about than any other 2k that's the point it, everyone's always gonna complain but it would be people would be way happier with that game you compare things right you compare a 10 to 7 you be like oh she looked like that like there's differences it's not nostalgia <laughs> you know 16 was better for realism and it was better for arcade it was better on all fronts the same would even trash 17 17 was horrible but it was still better than every single 2k after it not even close and 17 was trash that's the point you feel me y'all are robbing yourself to be honest when uh y'all say things like this to be honest he complains about somebody dribbling for 10 seconds you would get complained about if you dribbled too much for five seconds but if you ask these complainers what their favorite 2ks are they're gonna call it 16 and 17. so you know do you you are you you really think everybody's is that stupid that they don't know what they like you think people lack that much intelligence when people say it, like nostalgia like they when they say you're living in nostalgia they're very high key saying you're stupid you don't know what you're talking about and you can't measure two things versus each other they're they're saying that you are romanticizing the past and you do not have a brain right <laughs> So you hate watching somebody dribble for 10 seconds, but you could watch somebody dribble for the whole 24 seconds and then make a contested shot, a smothered one, while they also lose zero stamina doing this shit? A lot of you. So you hear this guy, right? This is a lie. This clearly shows he never played the game, okay? Or if he did play it, he was a complete negative 1% and he really had no understanding of the game at all. Guys, think. Think, think what he said, and this is what a lot of people say, right? But always look at who they actually, how they actually are, right? He said you could dribble out the whole shot clock and then shoot in someone's face. That's what 2K16 was? I have hundreds of videos disproving that. Versus stage players, versus 2K league players, showing that that, that was not the case. The same with 2K17. No, no one does that at the highest level, at the worst level. Dribble gods are such a small percent of the game and they even barely do that. That might be 10%, 5% of all their possessions, but they put it on YouTube, right? And now it creates this false narrative of what happened. Dribble gods are so rare. I've never lost to a dribble god in my life. Dribble gods didn't even go to the stage, bro. They are trash. They've never been good. They're better than the average 2K player, but to completely ruin a game just because someone is sitting there s dribbling around and doing moves that don't require stamina loss, just like you could do on 2K24, makes no sense. You can dribble the same amount in every 2K. In the past 2Ks, this is a hot take that people don't really understand, people would dribble less because there was more defense and you really had to go get your bucket. I can show hundreds of videos of me, one, two, score, one, two, three, score, one, two, three, score, top players, one, two, three, score, one, two, three, score. They're not sitting there, bro, I played every dribble God known. I run you, beat the hell out of him, 15, 16. I got the videos, A mark, destroying them. They're not dribbling like that. You see, it's an illusion. Dribbling, dribblers, it's an illusion. They play for fun versus each other. They're just spinning around. Bro, if you get dribbled on in any sense, you're horrible, right? If you ever get dribbled on, you are horrible in every single 2K. It is so easy to stop. Go up, press square, go on the side of them. It's so, if someone's dribbling on you, you suck at the game. That's what it is, right? On every 2K, every dribbler I've played, I've played with them. This, it's all a illusion. It's a Genjutsu. That's not how they really play. 
They're going for a clip. That is not who they really are. You feel me? The dribble gods now in 24, you can look at the clock. It's very rare that you see someone really going out there. The same with the past 2Ks, even 15, even 14. I could show you mixes. Cold a man, bro. You can look at his old 15 mixes, bro. He's not sitting there 24. No one does that. That's a lie. No one does that. No one does that. It has to stop. Like I would debate anyone live and show you proof that no one does that. Look at streams, not videos. Videos are fake. All these videos you've ever seen, they're fake. They're not real. It's a fake narrative. It's not, it's not reality, bro. No one plays like that. No one dribbled. You can't do that. Those games had better defense. There was no crabbing. <laughs> right? No one did that. There is no move that instantly brings you behind the person guarding you. You feel me? Not in the golden era, right? It was way more bumpier. You feel me? The you could not just shoot over people, right? There were no Hall of Fame badges, right? There was no takeover, right? You feel me? Completely different. There was no fading, right? <laughs> completely different way higher skill level right you cannot just sit there and dribble and shoot a contest no 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 that's newer casual 2ks right y'all really don't understand you wasn't in deep i was in deep i played every level since the beginning of 2k bro i know all these people i play with straight randoms i know how it really is okay so Y'all got to stop with these narratives unless you want to debate live. Another complaint y'all have, ankle breaker animations. If you hate getting your ankles broken now, imagine how bad it's going to be in 2K17. Rest in peace to your entire setup. Rest in peace to your controller. Listen, I am not blinded by nostalgia because I was... Now the ankle breaker thing. Another Genjutsu, bro. 2K15, rare ankle breakers. 2K16, very rare ankle breakers rarer than newer 2ks right 17 it was a little you know but it wasn't it wasn't od i've only gotten my ankles broken not even 10 times because i know how to play it i'm gonna give you the secret guys you see it's a user issue you back up right to where it can't hit you or you go to the side of them or you go right in their body that's how you avoid all ankle breakers in all 2Ks. It's a user issue. You feel me? It's a user issue. You bait. You bait like you're going to be right in the proper moment to get the ankle broken. It's a user issue. You get it? And then at the same time, how many people could actually use ankle breakers and get scores off that? If you looked at the stage in 17... Why weren't playmakers like the meta and they're just spamming ankle breakers all game? Nope. That was not the meta. Rarely happened. Why were top players not getting their ankles broken in the stage? Very rare. Because they know how to play the game, right? Those players are all minorities. They don't exist. Y'all go on YouTube, you see I run you Hank the Tank, they don't exist in the player base. So people are complaining about something that doesn't exist. Dribble gods don't exist. And then they rarely got they, you feel me? It's a, it's people rewriting history. I was there. You feel me? In these, the in the two Ks after it, that damn tight handles, them stuns, they were low key more OP than making somebody fall, you know? Like, bro, look how fast you get takeover, and then you can just spam ankle breakers. Bro, they literally combined sharp take with ankle breaker take in 2K24. Can we talk down on 17? What? I could just spam space creator shots on 2K24, get an instant ankle breaker, and I have my sharp take. That's not more OP? Huh? What? Think about that, bro. And you literally got takeover built from other people. Come on, man. People like people not really thinking about it, bro. You feel me? Wasn't even a dribbler in 2K17. But am I tweaking or do the momentum dribbles just look so much more smooth? Exactly. Why does the momentum crossover look so much more real in this game than 24? Exactly. 
because these games were more realistic and arcade at the same time. They're better on every front. <laughs> every front. They're not just slow, clunky, molasses gameplay. You feel me? 123. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Let me know how you guys would think 2K17 would be nowadays. Have a good day, everybody. But yeah, I like Will, okay? It's just, I, I have to, you know, <laughs> praying for better days. <laughs> but yeah, 17 would of course get trashed, but it wouldn't be on these levels, right? But that that's not the golden era. The golden era was 14 through 16, and then 17 was the downfall. Because they started over catering to uh, casuals, bro. The brick wall screens, who do you think that's for? The Dexing stretch bigs, you know? Even though those were, they weren't as popular as you know, but they were huge issues, bro. The po birth of the post scores, it all started with 17, but 17 was still way better than every 2K after it, so, you know. Now, 2K got a new event, right? It's currently going on now, and you get to get some unlimited Gatorade. Now, the thing is, this looks so familiar. I think it was an event in 20. This looks... This just shows that, like, they really reusing stuff, okay? It's cool that they got this event and stuff. We're going to see everybody else's feedback, you know? But it looks very... It literally looks like last gen. If you look at last gen, it literally looks like that. Like, so... Even though it looks cool and stuff, it's like if you really think about it, why does it look like last gen? It's so strange. Let's see what everybody else got to say with it. Two and six courts be bugged. Just drop 2K25 news. Look, doesn't this look like last gen's park? Look. Speed up the game. <laughs> Look, bro, if you just look at every post, casuals, comp players, comp players don't even be commenting. So, you know, there's a narrative out there from YouTubers saying comps always complaining and casuals enjoy the game. This isn't true. Everyone who comments under all these messages, they're always flaming 2K, bro. You know, all you have to do is go look. So when people lie about this, it really says a lot about them, bro, and who they're really trying to cater to. Because they know people who roast the game, they don't watch it. The people who watch it are the people that like it, you know? Look. Straight negativity. Straight negativity. Look. Well, not negativity, straight real. Look at this. Stop blocking new environments behind events. Oh, that's that's some real. We could have 20 different rec locations if the Dez wasn't complete morons. Mm, would y'all like 20 different rec locations? Look, that's current gen. Here the rewards, you know. Y'all let me know how many Zenners y'all ran into, man. Send me clips, send me clips. These are the times, by the way. Screenshot, screenshot. Hey, man, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all new. Click on this video if you want to see how Laker fan exposes 2K24 too, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.